Last year in June, President Trump was pictured outside St. John's Church in Washington, slightly awkwardly holding a Bible. Now there's a whole backstory, there's a whole bunch of other stuff politically and culturally that was going on at that time that I'm not gonna get into now. But then more recently, President Biden was speaking about going after terrorists in Afghanistan and he quoted the prophet Isaiah, here I am Lord, send me. What are these men doing talking about the Bible, taking verses out of context, using it, appropriating it for their own means. Unless we think this is only an American thing. Not too long ago, I think in the autumn of last year, Jacob Rees-Mogg stood up in our own parliament and quoted the Bible. And Boris Johnson has done it and others too. Why do they do that? Well, I guess, our societies are built on Christian foundations. We have this heritage going back many generations of Christianity. But there's something about this use of the Bible that concerns me. As Christians, we really believe the Bible. And on our Sunday video, we were talking about that in our Walking With God series. And the reading was Psalm 119, a psalm dedicated to God's word. The psalmist is saying the best way to walk with God to walk in righteousness is to live according to his word. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And we believe the Bible contains and is the word of God. It points us to the word made flesh, Jesus Christ. But it needs to be read in context. It can't just be used as a weapon for what we want, to be used our way. We need to take it seriously for what it is, for its own story and its own context. Yes, it speaks to us, yes, it's relevant for our day. But we can't just use it and wield it to gain political points, to make it fit our own agendas. We need to submit to the Bible's story and the Bible's agenda. And when we do that, we can say like the Psalmist in Psalm 119, your word is transformative, your word helps us. You could take any verse in Psalm 119 and he talks about the word of God, the laws of God. Deal with your servant according to your love. Teach me your decrees, give me discernment. That's what we need in these days from the Bible. We need discernment, we need understanding, we need to root ourselves in its story, but not be persuaded by politicians waving it around like a badge of honor or quoting it like it gives them some spiritual authority. Let's be wise, let's discern the times, let's hold on to the story of God found in the Bible, the Word of God, Jesus himself, as we're inspired by the Holy Spirit. This is our midweek thought, back on this channel on Sunday for worship at 5pm or join us in the building at 10.30am. God bless, keep in touch and take care.